right guys, finally I am going to film my entire Kat Von D collection video. Um, I am as prepared as I am going to be for this, <laughs> so I'm going to try and get right into it. Um, probably going to have to cut out a lot because I have to grab for everything. I'm going to start with her brushes. So. Um, I don't have the second brush set that she put out just because there was doubles from the first brush set she ever had. I have the first one. It has a flat liner brush, a angled kind of like blending eyeshadow brush, um, an angled liner brush which I use for my brows all the time, a blending brush which I love because it's just the perfect size and fluffiness, and then smudger brush which is my absolute favorite smudger and the brand new brush that just came out the shade and light face brush so those are her brushes that I have and I'm hoping I'm not going to miss anything because I have so much of her crap everywhere um, let's see here I don't even I guess I will show everything just there's stuff that's old that I like don't even use anymore. I just have it because I kept it. <laughs> um, her, she doesn't have lip glosses anymore in her line, not currently anyway. But oh, that's not kept pretty. I have like what nine of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, they were lightning lip glosses. They were just like very sheer, glittery glosses. Um, yeah, let's go through the names, <laughs> which is going to take forever. Um, Stormy is like a maroon one. Fierce Red, which is really a hot pink. Saint, which is just like a shimmery iridescent color. Um, Retox, which is a peachy nude. Uh, Gunshine, which looks scary, but it's re it really just goes on clear with like rainbow glitter in it. Party Animal, which is probably the most pigmented of them all, believe it or not. It's a bright orange. Rocker, which is a another reddish shade. Stripper, which is a darker nude. And this one is Bam, which is pretty much empty because this was my favorite, but it totally turned color. It was like a, a pinkish purple, and now it looks gray, but... Like I said, I don't know why I still have these. It's kind of just like a reminiscent thing. None of them smell weird. Like, they all smell like strawberry still, which is what the scent was. It was just like a berry scent. They still smell the same, so... Um, but yeah, I don't really use them anymore because those have been out for a couple of years now. Now, I think that's everything in that little drawer. Now I have kind of the face stuff I guess. So her primer which is brand new this just came out it's amazing you definitely should try it out if you need a face primer or you're looking for a new one to try. Um, her rehab priming elixir which is more I use this stuff so much this is more of like a moisturizer than a primer. It smells like roses it's really nice. Her foundation which is always out of stock. Um, this color anyway, I use light 44 and it's always out of stock. Um, the powder foundation, again this is out of stock a lot too and I need to get a new one because I've hit pan on it and I'm gonna use this up soon. Also light 44 and then the Locket Tattoo Concealer which I wish I had gotten a lighter shade of this. This is shade... what is this one? I don't even remember which one I got but um... It's a little too dark for me, but it's still an amazing concealer. And I can make it work when I lighten it up a bit. So that's the face stuff. <sighs> Alright, I think that I'm pretty sure that was everything up here. And then her mascara, which is the Immortal Lash. I have... I'm pretty sure I have all of her pigment pigments. Like I even have the the JC Penny exclusive one. Is that all of them? All right. So these were not one of my favorite things, believe it or not, because I found them really hard to work with and blend. Um, 
but at any rate this is rapture which is like a, a peachy shimmery color you get a ton of product in these i need to use them more because i have so many of them uh, meditation which is like a rose gold i'm not going to open them all up just because this is already going to be long enough star crossed is a really pretty iridescent like a pinkish iridescent color but it's so hard to blend and work with um Johnette or Jonette is a bright blue. Um, Ladyhawk is a maroon. These weren't out in the store for very long either. Uh, Torment is a purple, like an iridescent purple. Rooftop is a brown. I believe this is one of the JCPenney exclusives. And then the other one was Conquer, which is like an olive green. So those are the, what do you call it, the pigments. Some of them work a lot better than others. Like I said, that star-crossed one is so pretty and it's just so hard to work with. Um, that's probably the only bad thing you're going to hear me say about her line because I am clearly obsessed with it. This will be easier because all of her kind of like single shadows are in here. Um, these came out, I think, with her fur when her makeup line first came out and I got them when they were on clearance for 10 bucks a piece so these were like little um, shadow duos which were the same color on each side but one side was glittery and one side was shimmery so this one is Cobra Riff Raff which is like a deep brown Live Wire which is a taupe Groupie which is a purple Confessional, which I used the crap out of this one when I first got it. <laughs> That's just like a champagne color. Moonshine is a light blue, kind of like a cornflower blue when it's applied. Six Shooter is like a gunmetal. Motorhead is a black. And Believer is a white. And then I have some other miscellaneous shadows in here. I have, I don't drop them everywhere. I have all of her shade shifter shadows. Um, on the road is a like brown to green shift. Devotion is an orangey green shift. I don't know how well the shift is going to pick up. These are hard to tell that they color shift until you actually apply them. Um, Stockholm is a blue that has kind of like a purple sheen to it. Again, not sure how well you're going to be able to see that. And Love Letter is a purpley with a pink shift to it. I'm pretty sure they still have all of those on the website. And then her eyeshadow trios, I have three of them because I have another one in one of her holiday palettes, so I just never bought that one as a single. Um, Fever Ray. These all come with a shimmery shade, a matte shade, and a glittery shade, so you can kind of just do an, a whole eye look with these. This is like a pinkish and maroon little palette. Um, Dreamer is the neutral one. It's got a champagne, a peach color, and a brown. And then Beyond Redemption is a light blue, a cornflower blue, and a bright navy blue. This makes a really pretty blue smoky eye. I know a lot of people are afraid of blue eyeshadow, but I happen to really enjoy it. Um, so that's, I think that's everything in that drawer. Um, I have one of her blushes, which is Love Song, and it's a bright pink with a little bit of glitter in it, and there's a divot taken out of it because I stuck my nail in it by accident. That drives me nuts, but I really, really like this blush. It blends nicely. Actually, it's the blush I have on today because I used it for this tutorial. Then the Shade and Light palette, which you've all seen because I just did a video on this. Um, that's the contour palette. She has an eye palette coming out soon. Um, 
which I'm sure will be added to the collection. Um, I'm not going to do her lipsticks yet because I have a ton of those. So I don't know if I should do the lipsticks or what. I have to go digging in my lipstick drawer now because I have way too many to show you. I am not going to open every single one of these, but I have three of her mini lipstick sets, so that's all of these. This was the studded kiss ones from this year, and then these are the other ones. There's way too many to just open them all, and I'm sure you guys already know what they look like, but these are all her minis, which are really good to have because I have so many lipsticks now, it's hard to use up a whole lipstick. So mini products are where it's at. Now for her regular lipsticks, I have Coral Castle, which is, it's not a matte, it's kind of like a, a cream finish but it's so pretty it's just like a a very neutral coral if that's even a good description I don't know it's a very wearable coral it's not super bright and then the first lipstick of hers I ever got was Agatha which is just a very light nude I use this a lot to lighten up pretty much any other lipstick that I'm using that I want to be lighter um, then her what were these called the foiled love lipsticks um, these are funny because I have this one which is Valentine that I could not get to work for me because it was so dry like like I even melted it with a lighter to try and get it to work it's a super metallic bright pink that's such a pretty color but it just went on so dry and rough um, and then I had this one forever and never which was fine so I think maybe I just got a bad one but this is more of like a metallic not really a copper a metallic nude I guess you could call it and then I have one of her studded kiss lipsticks. Sorry, the mailman came. Um, I have one of her full size studded kiss lipsticks because this one was really like dry and patchy too. This is Coven and it's the lavender one, which again is such a pretty color. Um, I kind of have to mix it with different lipsticks to be able to wear it because it's just very dry and patchy, which again is weird because the mini studded kiss lipsticks are amazing. So it's kind of just like a formula thing, I guess. Um, then her liquid lipsticks, which you guys know I always, always rave about these. Um, this was... This was before she even had the liquid lipsticks. This is called... The Painted Love Lip Gloss, I believe. Yeah. This was her Painted Love lip gloss that was out when, when the glittery lip glosses were out. Um, I think this was like her first go at the liquid lipsticks. Again, really nice. It wasn't a kiss proof formula though. This is the color Lolita. That's what that looks like. Um, so it was, it was more of a gloss formula. It has that same strawberry scent to it. Um, and then she came out with the wonderful liquid lipsticks. So these are the old packaging. I have Lolita and... Lolita is really watery for some reason. Lolita and Backstage Bambi. These are probably my two favorite lip colors ever. <laughs> these seriously... Here I go, I'm gonna rave about them again, but they will stay on your lips all day long. They don't kiss off when you kiss the back of your hand. You can eat with them, you can drink with them pretty much anything and they don't come off <laughs> um, and then she had for a short while the oh god I don't even remember what these were these were the metallic ones I can't remember what they what the full name was some uh, foil of love liquid lipsticks I believe um, but this is backstage Bambi as well it's just a metallic version love this one I wore this on um, Thanksgiving and it lasted throughout my Thanksgiving meal and then these are the new packaging this one is a lip gloss and it's called super liminal this was like super limited released when her ah, oh, what was the name of the palette that came out when the Esperanza palette came out which I will get to in a minute this came on the site like that day and it was that was it it wasn't available anymore so I don't know what was up with that but I did manage to get my hands on it it looks so cool in the tube it's kind of like just a color changing lip gloss like you can put it over the lipsticks and it will give it a bit of a like a color shift it doesn't look as cool as 
how it looks in the tube, but that's that. And then I got Armageddon, which is kind of like Backstage Bambi, but it's a more palish lavender pink. Look, I'll show you. It's way lighter, <laughs> but this is just a matte, um, matte pink also. Super, super bright. So those are the lip products. I don't think I missed any. <laughs> We're getting almost to the end. She has pencil eyeliners, which are pretty much all the ones I have are in her palette, so I will get to that. But um, her first pen version was the tattoo liner, which is a flexible, super fine brush tip. I love this liner so much. I've gone through so many of these and they last a really long time, which is nice because a lot of times products like this dry up. And then she recently came out with the ink liner, which is the same super fine tip, but it's a felt tip. So not much difference, just whatever your preference is and you feel more comfortable applying your eyeliner with. And then her colored ones are the lightning liners, which is also a liquid um, super fine brush tip, but this is the kind that you twist up and the product comes out through the brush. And this is a metallic purple. Um, this is Poe, but it's a purple. It's not a blue like the Poe lipstick. So I figured that was worth mentioning. Um, so those are the eyeliners. She actually doesn't have a like a cream liner yet. I'm surprised. I'm sure that's probably in the works. Now, the thing that everybody always asks about is the palettes. And I have pretty much every single one of her palettes. The only one I'm missing in my collection is one of the Art of Elysium ones. So, oh my goodness. Maybe I can go in the order that they came out because I kind of have them set up like that. This is my little Kat Von D palette box and it is full now so I have to get another one. Not a box, just plastic container, whatever you want to call it. So, um, her first ones both had this rose thing, the rose design on them, and this one was Ludwig. I actually didn't get this one until a couple years ago because it was on clearance at my uh, JCPenney. So this one's all kind of neutrals and then it goes into uh, greens. That's Ludwig. Um, again, this one is Beethoven and it's the, the same. These are the first two palettes she started out with in her line, so my blue was broken, <laughs> so I had to fix that. But this one is more blues, you got purple, again, a very, very uh, wearable but fun palette. So those were the first two she started off with, and then she started coming out with the limited edition ones that were only out for a short time. This one is Gypsy, and probably one of my favorites. I love the artwork on this one. This one's all greens, pretty much. Greens and brown. My black is broken, so I don't want to drop it. But um, these palettes had cream shadows in them, which this one right here was the, the gold was creamy, and they dried up like that. So that is probably why there's no cream shadows in her palettes anymore, but I'm glad they did away with them because that was kind of a bummer. Um, Metal Orchestra. This is the the more blue toned one. Blues and grays. I kind of wish she would come out with one that's all reds. <laughs> like I'm probably alone in that thinking, but I think that would be really cool. Then this is the True Love palette. This is neutrals and purples. Again, that copper shade is all dried up because that's the cream one, but that's what that one looks like. Um, and then this was her first white one, Memento Mori. And this one had all kinds of fun colors in it. This one was a cream, which is dried up, the purple, but I love this color and this color. Those are, ugh, they're so pretty. The teal is like a teal with a gold shift to it. And then we had another white one, which was Angelus. Has key, uh, crosses on it. And this one had some more fun colors. It's half, half neutrals, half 
fun blues. <laughs> and then after that was the Love and Fury palette. This one, oh, I didn't show you what it looked like. <laughs> this one was very dark. Grays, silvers. It had two creams, a black one and a maroon, so those are both dried up, but this one's super cool. It's like a really deep purple with a bunch of glitter in it. That's Love and Fury. And then Truth, which has keys. And this one has some fun greens in it, and again, some neutrals. I apologize for my like eczema fingers, they look disgusting. Alright, so after that, she started coming out with the metal case palettes, which are so nice. Um, this is the Saint palette. But with that, they also kind of killed the whole artwork on the cover thing. I mean, she still did design these, but I like how this had actual, like, drawings on it. I don't know. This is, this has roses on it. This is the Saint one, and it is the neutral palette. And it comes with one of her little, um, liners. This is a dark brown, I believe, or is this the black one? Yeah, this is a black. But like I said, her, I have a bunch of these little liners, so I don't have, like, the full-size ones. Which is why I didn't show you them with the liners. And then this is the Poetica palette. And this one has purples in it again, and some neutrals, and lots of, whoop, <laughs> lots of glittery shades. Love this palette. I love all her palettes. Quite obviously, I have way too many. Um, this is the Sinner palette. And this is all deep grays and black and deep purples. Very pretty. And that also has the liner in there. So did the Poetica one. I didn't mention that. The Mi Vida Loca one. Um, she is doing a Mi Vida Loca remix palette, which I am really excited to see. Because this one is so much fun because it was her rainbow palette. So I'm excited to see what the remix one is going to look like, but um, this one also had her eyeliner in Wonder Child, which is like a purple. She has a Wonder Child lipstick now. Um, and then of course, this was probably her most popular one, it was the Ladybird palette. And this is all her all matte palette, and it came with the brown eyeliner. So, I think this was just popular because for one it was all matte and it was like neutral wearables so everybody just jumped all over that one. <laughs> um, and then there's all these minis that came out at separate times. Um, we have uh, the Star Crossed palette. It's like a silver, a taupe, a purple, and a blue. Um, the Star Struck palette. Did I show this? I don't even know if I just showed that one or not. This is Star Struck. And that one has like a, a brown, a light brown, a gold, a dark brown, and a maroon. Then Little Saint has a cream, a blue, a purple, and a brown. Little Sinner. That, I love the olive green in this one. So that has a green, a maroon, a kind of like a champagne color, and this, and then this one is like, I believe that was like a color shift. Yeah, it's almost like a pink when you put it on, but it looks white in the pan. And then I have the Kimberly Art of Elysium palette, and I don't have the other one. That's the only one I'm missing. I don't remember what the the other name was. But this one is a really pretty, it's got a pretty shimmery pink, a kind of like a taupey purple, a uh, dark gray with glitter in it, and a super vibrant purple with a bunch of glitter in it. And then we have the Esperanza palette, which is 
the the squareness of this one aggravates me because it doesn't fit in flush with all my other palettes that's just like an organizational thing but I love the artwork on this one it's a sugar skull and it had these really pretty colors in it and this was her first like introduction to the cardboard palettes which I will get into soon. Cardboard palettes, which we will get into now. So there is the... These are giant now, by the way. Her palettes are giant. This is the Chrysalis palette. It has a pretty butterfly design. And this one is all purples and blues and really, really pretty. This is the more dramatic palette. And then she had the, the Monarch palette. Why can't I remember the names? This is the more neutral wearable one. Looks like that. This burnt orange color is amazing. So that's what that one looked like. And then just recently, her Interstellar palette, which is very reflective and awesome. And this is all like, again, purples. And a lot of people said this was too close to the Chrysalis palette, but when you put them together, they are really nothing alike. So, Interstellar is on the top and the Chrysalis is on the bottom, so. Yes, there's purples in it again, but they're very, very different purples. The last little section I have to go through here are the, ho the, the holiday palettes. And I have all of them because I've been collecting them since she first started her makeup line. So from the first year on, um, you can tell they got more and more compact because the first one is just like ridiculously huge. This was the Tattoo Chronicles palette. This was her first one. It looks like a book. I believe it was around the time when her Tattoo Chronicles book came out. So you open it up and it has some of her artwork and a little excerpt from her book. And then you open it up and it's got a mirror on this side. It's got a pair of lashes, some eyeshadows, and it has three of her primers. Oh, yeah, that's... See, I totally did forget something. I do have her primers, I just didn't show you. Um, she doesn't have these two anymore. She only still has the skin one, but it's in a squeeze tube now. Um, so skin is just the, um, what do you call it? The plain primer. And then she has smoky, which is the gray one. And, oh, the thing fell off of this. I don't remember what the, stellar is the shimmery primer. So I found, um, the smoky and stellar one didn't work as well for me to keep my makeup on all day as the skin one does. Which, it still looks like it's full, but it's pretty empty. <laughs> I should get the one in the squeeze tube. Maybe I will get that one when my Urban Decay Primer Potion runs out. But there's still, there's three little um, test size ones. Travel size ones. What am I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then this thing lifts up. And it had one of her perfumes in there, but that is with my perfume. <sighs> See? I'm going to have to show you my perfume too, I guess. But, um, so that's the Tattoo Chronicles one. The next year was the, uh, K Tattoo Chronicles Candelabra Edition, which is like a velvety front, and again, it looks like a book, but it was a little bit more compact. It just has one, one little page here, and then this one was all eyeshadow. Kind of like the Disney Princess palettes is how it's set up. It has a big mirror on this side and then it also came with her... what was this one called? I don't remember what this mascara is called. The Sinful Lash Mascara which worked really well but I like her Immortal Lash one better and I really loved the shadow colors in this one. I don't use this palette enough probably because it's so big and it's in there I forget about it but I need to pull these out and start using them. Then the next year was the Starry Eyes palette, which is a lot more compact. Um, and it had four of her trios in it, which are giant, giant trios. It has a little eyeball design there. Um, Felix Loner 
Helmet and Requiem are the trios. And Helmet is available as a single as well. That's why I don't have that one in my trio collection over there. That's what those look like. And last year's was, well, we're in 2015 now, so the 2013 one was the Spellbinding eyeshadow book. Really nice and thin. I love the artwork on this one. And this one has a whole crap ton of shadows in it, so that's what that looks like. Love the colors. Great color selection. And then this past Christmas was the star-studded eyeshadow book, which was a bummer to a lot of people. Has a really heavy mirror on the front. I really don't have a huge problem with this palette, like everybody seemed to have. It was these two colors that really didn't work well for me, but other than that, everything was great. Um, so yeah. I guess it's just because I've never had that issue with one of her shadows before. It's these two that are just super, like, no... They don't want to pay off with color. <laughs> but all the other ones are awesome. They're just like her other eyeshadows. So it really wasn't a big deal because you get a whole ton that you actually can use. So that was pretty much all the Kat Von D makeup, I believe. Hiccups again. And just for the heck of it, we'll do the perfume. I have her, uh, her Saint perfume because I just have the rollerball of the Sinner. Um, but Saint is one of my favorite perfume scents ever, and they don't make it anymore, and I refuse to pay ridiculous prices on eBay. So, <sighs> Kat Von D, please bring your perfumes back. But this is the... I didn't get the big white bottle, which I should have, because now I regret not ever getting that one. I got this one because it was so cool looking. It has skull, uh, skulls on the side on both sides and it just flips open so you can spray it and this one is a very vanilla scent it seriously lasts all day long I love this perfume so much I'm so mad that they don't make it anymore it's like half gone um, alright so her other ones I have all in rollerball form and most of them were only made in rollerball form um, this is the one that came in that Tattoo Chronicles one, because it's half half saint and half sinner. That's what that looks like, and they just twist off. Yeah, that's Lady Gaga. That doesn't go with these. Um, and then sinner, like I said, I have the rollerball of it. And I don't remember what order these came out in afterwards, but I believe it was Adora. This one was, this is another spicy one. I don't know, that one's hard to describe, but it's another spicy scent, and it's got, like, um, butterflies on it. Then Poetica. I know they made a big bottle of this one, too. This one smells really good. This is, like, a, kind of like a warm musky scent but it's not like super overpowering and then Saint Angelus which was I believe they described it as a mix of Sinner and Saint so it does smell vanilla like Saint does but it has a little bit of it's just a little bit stronger it almost has like a it does have that vanilla scent like Saint does, but it also has like a citrusy scent to it. So that is everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. I got her perfumes. Pretty much... I'm pretty sure I got all the makeup. I went through all my drawers and made sure I hid everything, so... Hopefully I don't forget anything. I'm sure my collection's gonna continue to grow because she keeps coming out with new stuff. She, um, they announced that she's doing a collaboration with Formula X Nail Polish which I'm so excited about because I just recently discovered Formula X and how awesome it is, so I'm sure she's going to have kick-ass bottle designs for it and everything, and I'm going to go broke buying Formula X nail polish. But um, that is everything for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is 39 minutes long right now. I'm looking on my screen, and I'm going to have to edit the crap out of this, but I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you in my next video.